Hey there guys, gals, and non-binary pals. My name is Desiree, AKA Mama Friendly, in case you're new here. If you are, welcome, and if you're not, welcome back. Today's video is a summer sweet treats collab. I'll be posting the information of the hosts now so you can check them out on Instagram and follow their YouTube channels. I'm also gonna be posting a playlist link in the description of this video so you can check out all of the other collaborators and all of the sweet treats that they're making for this collab. Now, if this is not your first visit to my channel, then you might be aware that I do dairy-free keto. It's hard to find desserts that are low carb or low sugar, no sugar, that you actually want to eat. It's even harder to find those things when you also take dairy out of the equation. So when I found a recipe on low carb yum for sugar-free, dairy-free fudgesicles, I was hooked. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I made the fudgesicles, and I'm also gonna post a link in the description to the original recipe in case you guys wanna follow it yourselves. So without further ado, let's make some desserts. So there you have it friends, that's the finished product. I thought they were super tasty. My brother is not dairy free, but he's doing keto as well. He tasted them and he thought that they could use a little more sweetener. So I would suggest if you're making these to taste the, not batter, but whatever it is, before you actually freeze them and that way you can adjust the sweetener if you need to. Also, if I could give you a couple suggestions, I would definitely sift the cocoa powder before you mix it in. I did not do that because I was in a rush and it just didn't occur to me. But as a result, while I'm eating my ice cream, every once in a while, I'll get a little pop of a clump of cocoa powder that made its way in there. And that's like a little bit of a bitter bomb. So if you'd like to avoid that, and I'm sure you do, you should sift it before you mix it into everything else. Otherwise, I really, really enjoyed this recipe. I'm glad I was able to try it and I would absolutely make it again. So I wanna thank all my fellow collaborators for joining me in this. I wanna thank the hosts for creating the collaboration and inviting me to join. Once again, make sure you check out the link in my description box so you can see the playlist and see everybody else's videos. Drop them a line, let them know I sent you, and if you make any new friends along the way, send them back this way. So what's your favorite summer sweet treat? Let me know in the comments, I'd love to hear from you all. I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, I hope you'll please give it a big thumbs up. I'd also love it if you would subscribe and click that notification bell because I post at least three times a week and I wouldn't want you to miss a minute. Thanks so much again for watching. Bye.